All right, guys. So, Rachel Wiggum, Ambassador Diamond with It Works Global. Um, I'm speaking to myself, but I feel like this will help somebody today. Um, I did a call with a young lady today, and um, you know, she's trying to talk about, like, think about how to overcome and really step into the newness and growing her business forward. And it was crazy that she wanted to go forward, but all she kept doing was talking about the past, about what happened before, or um, what blocked her before or how she was successful before and it was like yo like how can God do something new when all you talk about is the past how can God do something new when all you do is talk about the past and it was just like it's cute where God has took you before like what he's done in your life before or I get it like when you overcome an adversity and things were awful and horrible and it blocked you beforehand but at this point right now it can't block you unless you allow it to it can't block like stop giving your past power it doesn't have any power it's merely um history and what we draw from history is the way to overcome and not make the same mistakes right so right now you write your new story like write your new story for your business like if if beforehand you were boxed in for whatever like who cares that you were boxed in before the only thing that you need to take from that right now is that you did it before and god can do it again and he can go far beyond that but at the end of the day, you have to focus on right now, what it is that you need to do right now in order to progress your business forward. It doesn't matter what you did before. It's a matter of what you're doing today. And so today, allow the newness to come into your life, the newness to come into your business so that you can move on past the past. The past can only hold you back if you if you keep talking about it and keep thinking about it and keep um, reminiscing, like stop doing that and allow God to work a new thing in your new day. So hopefully that helps somebody.